Hello and welcome to UE for Tips for You. So in this tutorial we will set up the hang to jump right facing functionality right upward and upward and similarly in hang to jump left left upward and upward facing. So in all these regions if there is some valid score that our character can grab our traces can detect that point as well. So let's see the result over here. So here is the complex geometry over here. So basically this is the hole in the wall let's say and our character can detect that hole as well. So if I move that object like so our character can properly detect that point in each in every region like so. Similarly in our upward side like so and at the left side like so so let's check the result over here so our character can detect all of these points that can grabable you guys can see in this video if I move the object like so my traces works properly and detect that point as well so in this tutorial we will implement the proper tracing functionality and in our next tutorial we will set up the proper hang to jump left and every direction functionality. So let's get started guys. Hello and welcome back. So in our previous tutorial we have set up the hang to jump right and hang to jump left tracing like so and if there is some object lies in this region it means there is a valid point for our character to grab and our character can properly detect that point like so and we can also detect the holes for example like this if there is some hole in wall our character can detect that hole as well so in this tutorial we will set up these traces to work diagonally like here in this region and also in this region upward and all the all this region our character can detect the points if there is some valid point we can jump towards that point so now let's open our character blueprint and when we release the here when we release the latch I'm gonna clear my timer of these two traces like so so previously if I move over here and release the ledge my trace function is not disabled and it always works so we need to disable this so here when we release the ledge I'm gonna clear the timer of both of my traces like so now when we release the ledge our this our trace function also disables so now let's open our hand to jump right tracing function and over here at the for loop I'm gonna make some room over here and at the get actor location I'm gonna add some vector over here and promote the second pin to a variable and call this hang to like hang to jump up tracing like so hang to jump up tracing so we need to update only this variable when we press for example W key 
and D key at the same time our traces work as diagonally so I'm gonna move it over here and press W W keyboard and if can hang is true then I'm gonna just grab my hang to jump up tracing variable and add 90 units in Z axis and when I release the W key I'm gonna set it back it to 0 like so so here let's check the result as you can see when I press W key and D key at the same time our trace function work as diagonally and we can also set the trace function work as lower side like here when we press S so we just need to set this variable 90 instead of 90 we use we set it to minus 90 so our trace functions work as right side and right up side now in our hand to jump left tracing we implement the same logic over here get actor location and add some add a new constant vector over here and the set vector will be our hang to jump off tracing like so so now our tracing work both sides diagonally as well as you can see so now let's make a new function for tracing upward like so when our character is in this pose and we press w we need to sphere we need to trace in this region so that we can detect the point that is top of our location so for doing this let's open our character blueprint and first i'm gonna rename my variable like hang to jump up tracing to hang to jump z offset and then i'm gonna duplicate my hang to jump right tracing function like so and call this hang to jump up tracing up tracing so everything is same as our as we did in hang to jump right tracing like so everything works fine so instead of here at the number of traces right check I'm gonna set it to something like minus or uh, something like 2 and start index will be our minus 2 so we just need we just change the first index to minus 2 and number of right traces to 2 now let's check the result by implementing the function so I'm gonna set timer over here and copy the function name paste it over here like so and clear the timer when I release the key here function name will be our same now let's check the result over here as you can see when I press W key my character detect this ledge that it only that it previously grabbed so instead of adding 90 in our Z we we're gonna add 100 something like and then we check the result over here so here you can see our character can detect the up, upward side region but it's not in center position so for fixing it I'm gonna open hang to jump right function and 
let's set the variable to 1 and then check minus 1 to 1 and see what is the result so it's not properly working so it's not properly working because here we disconnect the node over here and move it over here like so now let's check the result here, here you can see my traces are working at center of my character's location so if I increase the number to 2 traces number of I traces to 2 and start index to minus 2 then we have more broader region to detect like so so here I can detect my left region left upward upward and right right upward and upward so when I press B and W key at the same time it means we only detect the diagonal part not our upward part so we need to fix the fix that point as well so for fixing it I'm gonna I'm gonna create two variables call this boolean and to jump right like so and one for hang to jump left like so and I'm gonna set these variables to true when hang to jump right trace function fires over here and let's set this function over here true and similarly in our hang to jump left tracing set d hang to jump left variable true over here like so and in the event crop when we release the key when we release d key we're gonna set the variable to false over here and similarly for the a key set the variables to false and now let's go to our hang to jump up tracing and this function only fires if both of these variables are true so I'm gonna add a new branch over here and grab both of my variables and set not and not over here so if both of my variables are false then only this case I'm gonna fire the hang to jump up tracing function here you can see the result when I press D key my only hang to jump right tracing function fires when I press D and W at the same time my diagonal tracing works and when I press W my only upward tracing works and similarly in our left case so we set up these traces and in the whole this region if there is some valid point for grabbing our character can detect that point so in our future tutorials we will implement the hang to jump right proper functionality so that our character can grab that points and even holes so i hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and you can also support me on patreon for making more stuff and also you can access the project files over patreon so till then